Everybody has secrets. Including me and the kind of porn I've watched, you know. Um, some confusion there, absolutely. Um, but the beast, the beast is, you know, a lot stronger than what you think it is. And the beast is withdrawal. You see, most violent criminals are only violent because they're coming off of some sort of drug. Or, you know, because, uh, you know, violent behavior is only stimulated and caused by external influence. The body only seeks to defend itself if threatened. It's not like we send white blood cells out into the open. Makes sense, doesn't it? Here's the other part. You know, I have personal experience with, you know, I, 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 if I'm going to be arrogant and delusional, I'll say that I'm one of the missing pieces of this entire puzzle. At least in this area within London. Um, to figure out exactly what's going on with the mental health state yeah, that's it. The mental health state and the status of it. So to me, mental health state is the collective consciousness and the ability to create or to have sex. And if you read Naomi Klein's uh, uh, This Changes Everything, that's her journey in that which she was too stressed out and she was on the wrong meds and it completely ruined her fertility and she almost didn't have a child. So I need not say anything more. And my generation, especially women, are in the, they're hitting the wall, right? They're in the age range between 29 and 37, 38, like me on the top end. And women are, are lose half their eggs by the age of 35. It's, it's just, it, you know, that's the way of nature. Because there has to be some sort of sacrifice in the chemical exchange. Um, so, you know, since the mind was hacked, the spirit was removed with the atheism and the pharmaceuticals nuke your gut biome, 100%, they nuke your gut biome, especially a uh, methamphetamine or Adderall, um, they ruin your stomach lining and they give you a sense of euphoria which is a false prophet because at the end, you know, then you're a meth addicted student. Okay. Um, mixed with antidepressants, which puts you in a disassociative state and you don't know what love is anymore, but there's recovery. There's hope for this. And trust me, um, you know, um, I, again, personally, just by my life, it's, it's, it's amazing what happens when you just let it happen and you take time to breathe and don't act out in anger because I don't act out in anger. I act because I know something and evil persists when good men do nothing. We're all in this together, whether we like it or not.